everyone. This is a tour of an owner suite on Freedom of the Seas, room 1620, uh, or the Michelangelo suite. So here we go. Owner suite is quite a large suite. This is the second largest class of suite. No, I'm, I stand corrected. The two bedroom grand suite is probably larger or similar in size and has two bedrooms, but this is a, a really large room and very impressive on Freedom of the Seas, which is a uh, Freedom class, the original of the uh, Freedom class ships. So let's start by moving around. You first, you walk in here, you've really nice uh, marble tiled floor here. And uh, you know, you, when you get up to this class of room, you just, the, the trim of the room is just at a exceptionally high level compared to uh, other rooms on the ship. So it's a, has a very nice premium feel to the room. Um, you get a really nice, dining area here, plenty of room to entertain uh, if you want to have some guests in the room, and uh, really nice fl uh, flower piece they gave us here. Have a nice large, I guess, butler table you could call it area, um, with you have here your espresso maker in the room, um, you know, it's where you could have your wine bottles and or store anything you really want to put there. Um, you know, again, you know, being such a large room, it has a tremendous amount of storage, which is another great thing. You see my previous re uh, reviews of a junior suite talking about all the storage. Um, well, you get even more when you get this size of a room. Um, so plenty of storage options there. You have a number of large, and the, and the one thing, these are fairly deep drawers compared to the normal drawers that you'll see in a uh, interior room, a balcony room, or a uh, junior suite. Um, just again, another higher level of trim. Um, underneath here, this is where your refrigerator is. I would say you don't get any real upgrade in the refrigerator. It's still the basic standard refrigerator uh, that you would see in uh, pretty much any Royal Caribbean room. Um, so no upgrade there, but it's still functional, does the trick for us. We're only on a three night weekend cruise uh, this weekend, so more than enough to uh, fit our needs. And again, more drawers, more cabinet storage. Then if we look back here, and unfortunately it's a giant mirror, so you get to see a, a bit of me, um, you have your closets. Um, so two ba divided up into two sections, um, really large closets. We'll open this one up here so you get a view of how big they are. So open up both doors. You'll see we don't have a lot because it's a weekend cruise, um, but that's pretty much all our stuff for the <laughs> weekend cruise. Um, but a large amount of space and then you have two of these. It doubles over into the other side. So more than enough room for a uh, family and all of their stuff. And uh, big enough, you could fit a couple bags in there if you like, rather than sticking them under your bed. So that is the dining area with the closet space. Then we'll move into the family and living room area. The one big piece here obviously is the really large sectional sofa. Plenty of room if you're cruising with a number of people or have friends on the ship and want to have them over for some cocktails. Plenty of room for hosting a nice uh, table, in the, a coffee table in the middle. Of course, when you're staying in a suite like this, they leave you a folder that tells you all about the uh, benefits and amenities of staying in a concierge level suite. Um, it's, it's a nice, comfortable sofa. This section here does fold up into a double bed size um, bed, <laughs> fold out bed. And uh, our son's been sleeping there. Um, it's a little lumpy for me laying down with Aaron, read, reading some books with him um, at night. I, I don't think I could sleep on that bed myself. 
but he is six years old and uh, you know a little over 50 pounds he, he is just fine on there um, but you know for for an adult especially one my size I don't think that would work out so well um, so just something to think about if you're looking to host uh, a number of people in a room like this um, nice corner table over here um, one thing you do get plenty of phones so if the phone rings it's uh, there's a phone close by wherever you are and I'll show you where all, all those are um, but there is a uh, handset extension there um, and also this chair here I have found to be incredibly comfortable um, just nice loungy chair with an ottoman um, sit in and read um, by the window just really nice place um, to relax uh, so everything for the most part's in really great shape in this room this carpet is in great shape I'm not sure when they replaced it uh, but it is uh, you know in, in everything's really good order in the room for for the most part I'll, I'll, I'll show a few things to you later um, I'll go out to the balcony in a bit I wanted to show you the bedroom area um, one thing you'll see you got this big um, I don't even know what to call it piece of furniture in the middle with a blank face well this is actually the TV for the room so you can see we have this rotating mount here and we bring that around and you have, I'm, I'm assuming this is about a 42 inch television. So it's one television for the room and you can swing it back and forth either way. So obviously in this, in this mode, you are uh, set up for um, family room or living room viewing. Um, and it does have, it's a Samsung television. It also has a Samsung sound bar. And I'll be honest, we, again, we don't use the TV a lot when we're on cruises. That's not what we're here for. Sometimes I'll check, I'll turn it on, check out the map channel and see where we are, um, or, you know, view some other things that are, are ship related, but we don't watch the television. But one thing we really enjoyed though, is this sound bar, they give you the remote, the sound bar, and it has Bluetooth pairing. So we have paired it with our phones and played music through this sound bar. And it actually sounds quite nice. Um, I'm trying to remember if it's on this side or the other side, this side, you can see down here, it's not really a storage area because it's taken up with electronics. Um, I'm assuming that down there has something to do with the television channels. Um, but this is the subwoofer for the sound bar. So you actually get some, you know, pretty decent sound. I mean, if you're an audiophile, it's not going to be audiophile grade, but for a cruise ship room, you know, definitely better than a small Bluetooth speaker, which is what we typically use. But again, a nice rotating um, television um, to watch in any part of the room that you happen to be in. Uh, so we'll, we'll flip it back into bedroom mode and show you the bedroom. So I'll stand back a bit. You do have a curtain. So if you are hosting multiple people in the room, that curtain pulls all the way across the room and uh, you're able to, uh, you know, get some privacy, if, if you know, some level of privacy, as much as a curtain will grant, um, if you need it. The bed is, you know, the, the Royal King bed, which is two double beds. Um, brought together and uh, it, it you know again this one I've, I've found to be quite comfortable the pillows are uh, also quite comfortable uh, you know a, again a pretty a really thick uh, mattress here you can see how many times my hand goes goes up the side there um, it, it quite comfortable and uh, higher level or grade level that you get in a uh, suite um, you do have your own doorway out to the balcony. I'll show you the balcony in just a moment. And you have end tables on each side of the bed. Um, these are much larger and much nicer than the ones you'll see in a junior suite level room or lower with uh, plenty of storage area. Um, again, just really nice trim across the room. And then we have a very large uh, vanity area. You know, again, another one of the uh, end tables, um, lighting controls for the room and for the night lights, which are dimmable, which is quite nice. Um, but going back to the vanity, you have 
multiple levels, layers of storage. So we have some things in there. Uh, you'll see we, we actually have an empty champagne bottle in there because uh, we were lucky enough to hit the pinnacle crown and anchor status on this cruise. So that is the champagne bottle that they gave us. And we drank last night and we decided we wanted to uh, keep that bottle. So we're gonna find a way to get that into our luggage and take it home with us. Um, we do have a safe here. It is larger than the junior suite safe um, that we we're in on Adventure of the Seas. I think you could put a smaller size laptop into this safe. Um, certainly not a large one, but a smaller size laptop, you could, um, you know, probably up to 14 inches, uh, you could get into this uh, safe, I believe. Don't quote me on it. Um, but certainly tablets and all your phones, passports, wallets, etc. will fit. It's a, it's a decent size safe, not the largest one I've ever seen on a ship, but it is, it is pretty decent. Um, so, very nice there. And then a pretty large area, um, plenty of mirrors, more storage, all again, fairly deep drawers. And then there, these also open up. You can see we're not even using them, but more storage there. So plenty and plenty of storage for all your things. Um, the one thing I will pick out, and you know, of course, I've got to always give you my thoughts on the room, all the positives, but even the few negatives. And you can see, you've seen some of our other videos, we're using our uh, charge strips that we, we bring along. Uh, there's only, in this gigantic room, there are still only two US outlets in this room. Um, there are some European outlets also, so if you want to bring a converter, that's a great idea to gain more outlets, but we didn't need that. We only char We only need them to charge our electronics and our strips allow us the uh, flexibility to do that. But it is, uh, you know, again, another one on this side. You just, you just get two in this incredibly large room. It's the same amount of outlets that you would get in the smallest room on the ship. So I, I would say, um, you know, one thing they uh, didn't do as well when designing these ships, but they are a bit of an older design. Um, you know, great, beautiful ships, but a little bit of a, you know, somewhat older design. Um, in the more modern ships, you'll see many more ports and also uh, USB ports being um, built into the rooms. So that's the vanity area. And then we're gonna move back around before we go to the balcony, we'll go to the owner suite bathroom. Here's our uh, temperature control. Again, the standard one you see in um, most uh, rooms on Royal Caribbean ships, except for some of the newer ships. I will say, I forgot to show you, you do have a, this is our lighting control. Now, the one thing you'll notice is the, um, you know, some of the panels seem to have disappeared. You just get this kind of black plastic across here, but there is, I don't know if you can get it at the right angle, but engraved in here are the different names of the different controls. So they, they do tell you it works okay. Um, it's not the best working <laughs> system on earth, but I'm, I'm guessing it's getting a little old in age there. Um, another interesting thing, and I'm, I'm assuming they did this, my son loves it, but I'm assuming they did this to make this a uh, considered a handicap accessible room is you have your standard peephole up here but you also have one down here at a much lower level. So my six year old just loves that. So here's the door to the bathroom. You can see our magnetic hooks that we have up there that we're not using them right now. Bring them on every cruise, very handy. And you have a very, especially for a cruise ship, large bathroom. So if we start to the left here, you do have your standard ship toilet. You have a, another phone because you know you, you need to be able to quickly answer no matter what you're doing. You have a bidet if you use a uh, bidet. Um, that is available once you get to the owner's um, suite. I don't believe they have them in a grand suite. A nice double sink setup, again with more storage, um, storage behind there. I mean, there's just storage everywhere in these rooms. Um, so really great uh, setup for two people to get ready at a time. Plenty of room in here. Um, then you have this tub, 
single person tub with a jacuzzi and I will say I personally tested it out yesterday and it works person it works perfectly fine so nice relaxing uh, space to hang out for for a bit um, but works really well and then we have what I love is a independent stand-up shower and you know glass door everything set up nicely it's not huge but I mean come on you're on a ship first an independent stand-up shower that's not a your only shower um, it is very nice now at the suite level you do get upgraded um, toiletries so uh, they have this uh, was it Malin and Goetz Malin and Goetz I'm not sure I believe this is a new brand for that they've partnered up with um, so you get their shampoo conditioner face wash they have body lotion outside and then you have the shower head. Now, one thing I will tell you that I love, if you saw my last review on the Adventures of the Seas Junior Suite, you'll, you'll have seen that I said uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the water pressure. Um, it was all right, but definitely not up to my liking. Well, this one, the pressure is hardcore. <laughs> I, you know, almost on the verge of too much pressure, though I don't really believe in that. And uh, so if you like a high pressure uh, um, washer or uh, shower, then this will work really well for you. So very, very happy with that. And uh, all I would say all the sinks have plenty of water pressure um, in this room. So big fan of that. So again, very large bathroom, toilet, bidet. Oh, you did see a big giant mirror over here I didn't show you with a shelf. Plenty of things that you can uh, hold on there. They always give you plenty of towels. Um, I did forget to uh, state that one thing that's nice when you get to a concierge level room is that they bring you beach towels. You don't have to check them out at the, uh, by the pool. So that's really nice. You know, you just leave them in the room. They'll, the room uh, attendant will take them and uh, replace them with uh, plenty of towels. So that is pretty much it. I'll do one more circle around the room from the middle to show you everything. Sorry, I left the bathroom door open there, but at least you get a glimpse inside. So you can see the scale of the room. I think it's 500 and some square feet. It's a pretty healthy size space. Divided in the middle by the TV setup that I showed earlier. You can see my lovely wife out on the hanging out on the balcony while I do this. And that is the interior of the room. So what I'll do now is uh, go out to the balcony and give you a tour there and my thoughts. Okay, let's head out to the balcony. Let me close the door behind me, keep the air conditioning inside. And let me tell you, this balcony is, is pretty large. So, we'll start over here. And you can see we've got two chase lounge chairs there with a table and plenty of room. You can put that table in between and still have room before you get to the uh, the edge, um, you know that that in itself is is just that section alone is a pretty large balcony. Um, you've got the really nice modern build balcony here where you have uh, plenty of glass and just a railing going across. So really open, beautiful. You'll see from my adventure of the, of the Seas Junior Suite review that the balcony is is very much encased in metal, um, not as modern and I don't know, pretty is the right word, uh, but um, this, this is just a really nice environment to hang out in, very large, very open. So that's one section of the balcony. You can see we have two more sections to the balcony here. So when you first walk out, um, you get a whole large section that's pretty much just open. It's open space, so you know, we can hang out here and my son can hang out and run around a bit. Um, and then we'll move over to the other side. 
and you'll see you have a, a, a large table and uh, two chairs. So you could easily um, have dinner out here, just rearrange the chairs around the table and uh, have your room service bring a dinner to your room and, and set it all up. And then again, this is a really large space. You can see there's actually two entryways to the balcony. So you have one from the living room area and then one from the bedroom area. So again, I mean, that, that just gives you an idea of the enormity. Now, granted, this isn't the Royal Suite. I am sure that is even bigger and even nicer. And I hope someday I get a chance to uh, shoot that for you. But you can just kind of get a view of how large this balcony is. So we are uh, really happy to be in uh, this level of room. I think it's only the second time I've been able to be in an owner's suite. Um, you can see we have the Celebrity Edge, one of the newest celebrity ships docked next to us in Nassau today. It's a, you know, while not as large as Freedom of the Seas, it is still a pretty, pretty large ship. Um, so very modern, lots of new features. Uh, maybe we'll, someday we'll get on there and see that, including the, I guess what they call the edge, the edge part of the edge. Um, that has uh, a bar and lots of seating, so on and so forth on it. And that can actually go up and down the side of the ship, though I always, the two times I've seen the ship, it's been in that position. Um, I'll just tell you while I'm showing you this, how did we end up in an owner's suite? Um, we were originally booked into a junior suite, um, one of the newer build junior suites um, when they refurbished the ship. And I was really excited to show you what a junior suite would look like on Freedom of the Seas and compare it to my review of Adventure of the Seas that we recently did. And uh, well, I'm not gonna be able to do that for obvious reasons because my wife, unbeknownst to me, put in for a Royal Up or the Royal Upgrade Program. So those of you um, are familiar with this, you know how it works. If you're not, it Royal will sometimes email you before a cruise, depending on availability, and you'll be able to put in a bid for a room upgrade. And you can put in multiple bids for multiple class rooms to upgrade to. And you can put in what you feel will be worth you. Well, unbeknownst to me, and because this was our Pinnacle Cruise, my wife put in a bid for an owner's suite, and she got it. Well, she didn't tell me about it. She decided to surprise me. I had no idea. I thought we were gonna be in this one room area. She kind of found a way to get me to walk down this aisle, and then all of a sudden she just stops and starts going into her room, and I'm a little bit confused. Next thing you know, we're walking into an owner's suite, and it finally dawned on me that she had uh, changed our room. So, really excited, made this uh, cruise a little bit more, well, a lot more special. We would have had a, a great time regardless. Um, but, you know, what a great way to spend a weekend in this beautiful room, this beautiful owner's suite. My son today is at Adventure Ocean. We just left him there before I came back to shoot this video. And uh, so we're, we're gonna hang out. Um, probably just gonna stay on the ship, um, do some hanging out around different parts of the ship that we haven't seen yet, but also spend some time hanging out in this uh, incredible room. So with that, I'm going to leave it there. Um, an owner's suite, if you get an opportunity to do one on this class of ship, hopefully this gives you an idea of what it's about um, and some of the ins and outs. And there are definitely more ins on this type of room than there are outs. It's a, it's a really great room. Um, you know, the ship's a little bit, little bit older. I can't remember when this one launched. I would assume 2003, 2004. So it's had a few years on it. The closet doors are a little creaky and they don't they don't come together really well when you close them sometimes. The hinges have gotten a little looser. So, you know, that would be maybe my only gripe <laughs> besides the outlets. And that is the minimal, you know, the smallest gripe ever. Um, it's a beautiful room. I've really enjoyed staying here. And, uh, you know, if you get a chance to stay in an owner's suite, please take advantage of it. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, leave you with this, again, beautiful view of Celebrity Edge parked in Nassau. And I wish everyone a great day. Hopefully this uh, 
review was useful for you, um, provided you enough information. If you do like this content, uh, please hit the like button um, and also subscribe to the channel. As I've said before, we're gonna try to do a review of every room we get uh, a chance to do and uh, we'll be able to provide more and more content over time, hopefully. So have a great day. Um, if you have any recommendations or suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about the room or the ship or the cruise in general, please leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a wonderful day, everyone.